Hello, maestros. My name's Mahan, and we're here to maximize our workflows. This episode, we'll be doing a deep dive into the action move or click mouse. I'll show you how to set it up automatically and how to do manual tweaks when necessary and how to navigate the option found image. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You want to add the move or click mouse from your action list. And then you can select your first option here, which is click. That's click, double click, triple click, or just move. And then you have your second option, which is left button, right button, center, or your other buttons if you have them. And then you can always include some modifiers when you're clicking. After that, you'll find the, the coordinates of your click and the coordinates are always relative to the origin. And that origin is set here. Um, right now it's set to the front windows top left. So if I go ahead and give it a try, you can see that it has moved to the very top left of this window. But if I switch it over to the main screen's top left corner, it will then go to the very top left of the screen as opposed to just windows top left, which is right here. And then you have your without dragging or with dragging. And I think it's a good idea just to use this option here, drag relative to, so relative to current mouse position. So it'll move to the point and then drag. So if you want to go left, if you want to drag left, it'll be a negative number here. So let me just give you a quick little example here. Start the record mode. Wait for that. And then click and drag. And then you can turn off the record mode by clicking on this floating window here, right in the center. There we go. So if I go ahead and give it a try now, give it a nice try, click and drag. Click and drag. So yeah, that's how you do that automatically. But what if you wanted to make like manual, manual tweaks, you know, little manual tweaks? Well, before I show you that, let me do that. I forgot this last option is restore mouse location. It's pretty self-explanatory. So if I restore my mouse, mouse location, so if my mouse location was here on the move, and then I give action trial, click and drag, and then move back to where it originally was. Yeah, so that's how you, you do that. And let's do go ahead and go back to your our manual manual button real quick. And let's go ahead and make a new macro. It's on get mouse, get mouse, and action, insert the display text. And then you can keep the briefly if you like, or you can switch over to the window if you, if you like. And then if you wanna go over to the insert token here and then scroll to the middle and you'll find the current screen location. And then you can go ahead and give that a try. It'll pop up here and give you the coordinates. You can either use that or you can use the screen capture mode with shift a command shift four and you'll get the coordinates uh, right there next to your cursor. Exit out of that. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you get the location of the mouse. And then you can just update your positionings if necessary. And next we have our sweet found image option. So you can click based on an image. And this is normally the last resort because it's a little bit slower, so therefore you have to have longer pauses, and those are a little bit harder to figure out. So first you want to use your keyboard to get things done, and then if you can't use your keyboard to get things done, then you can click it. And if it's a something that moves all over the place, then you can use a little bit of Apple Script to click it to, to get go straight to the UI element. But if you can't, then you can just use the found images center. And usually when you're first starting out, you might just use found image for a little bit until you get more advanced. All right, um, what's it talking about? Oh yeah, this uh, found image. So let's say that we want to click on this search box here. So command shift four, and then I do a little screen capture. So I click and drag to capture the image that I want to search for. And I find it in my desktop here, click and drag that in. And then I'm gonna click on this display so you can have a visual representation of where it clicks. I give it a try right now, and boom, there we go. But it's clicking to the bottom because I need set here. So if I want it to click right in the center, it'll be like 
that. Let's try it again. And boom. Now let's actually click there. Yay. So there you have it. Moving and clicking with Keyboard Maestro. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.